I do with that. Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, one of the country's favourite Elvis impersonators is the fabulous Elvis Schmelvis from St Albans, and he joins me tonight. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm well, thank you. How are you? Oh, great. It, it Just listening to that makes me want to go and see it. Have you seen the movie yet? I haven't, no. I mean, uh, n- normal, average people are not allowed to see it yet. It's, you know, a couple of more days to go, but oh, uh, it's I on my list thought of you'd, to you'd do. be on the red carpet with the rest of them watching that. That would have been nice, but sadly not. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it looks fantastic. Is it? Are you, it exci- are you excited to see it? Very excited. Yeah, I'm going to see it this weekend. Uh, it's going to be absolutely awesome. And uh, people uh, very much connected to Elvis himself have seen it and they approve of it. And it's got Graceland's approval and Lisa Marie's approval and Priscilla's, yeah. Priscilla's approval. It's going to be wild, absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I mean, I was reading an article today and um, Lisa Marie and Priscilla were both saying, that, yeah, like you say, that they, they really rate the, the movie. So, you know, that, that has got to be, you know, it's standing in good stead. Um, you know, as somebody who, who, you know, your life is Elvis, um, can you even imagine how they can pack his kind of life story into just two and a half hours? Well, they're obviously going to chop an awful lot out. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I mean, to pack it all in that short a time is, is virtually impossible. They've obviously uh, picked the best things or what they think will make the best viewing um, mm. and they've done it the best of their ability. And as I said, it's, it's going to be awesome. I really can't wait to see it. But yeah. sadly, I can't talk much about it because I just haven't seen it. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, there's obviously, you know, there's so much love for Elvis still in the public. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Well, because he's still the guy that invented modern music. I mean, as John Lennon said, before Elvis, there was nothing. So he's the guy that invented rock and roll, which obviously turned into pop music. He was the guy that started doing all the moves and and had the sort of haircuts and everything. And uh, he's still loved for all that. Um, Mm. And uh, without Elvis, we wouldn't have the music we have today. Yeah. I mean, I heard um, there was a clip of an interview with Tom Hanks and he said he didn't realise that Elvis was the first artist to bring sexuality to music. Oh, I mean, very I did, much so, yeah. Yeah, I didn't realise that, really. But now now that I read that, I was like, well, of course. Because didn't yeah. he get into trouble for that? He did. I mean, at one point, uh, he was shaking his pelvis so much, they actually uh, filmed him from the waist upwards. So <laughs> no one would actually see him shaking his pelvis. Um, really? <laughs> and it was, it was considered disgraceful and disgusting, you know, that he was moving his pelvis. Oh, uh, so there you go. Yeah, he said he did get into quite a lot of hot water. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we have I don't know if you heard, but we've been playing a game called Real or No Real, and we've been playing clips uh, of you and the, uh, clips of Elvis. You know, as somebody that, you know, earns his living as an Elvis impersonator, are there, like, part, you know, are there sort of Elvis eras i don't know if that's the right word but you know do people want you to turn up as a certain elvis do you know what i mean like vegas elvis for instance yeah, do you I mean, get kind of I requests my, like that yeah if i do my normal shows for example in a restaurant and i'll, I'll i tend to do sort of three half hours so i'll start for example with elvis and the gold lame jacket which is the very early elvis mm. uh, i then might do the black leather for the 68 and then finish off the third set with a jumpsuit for the 70s vegas but if someone books me for a, for a private party and they book, say, a 45-minute set, I'll say to them, you know, what sort of era would you like? You know, do you want the black leather? Do you want the GI uniform? Do you want the gold lame? Do you want the jumpsuit? And to be quite honest, nine times out of ten, they'll say, oh, jumpsuit. Yes. And then I'll say, OK, what colour jumpsuit would you like? I've got red, blue, black, <laughs> white. That's all the white one, please, you know. Um, yeah. So everyone's got their favourite thing, but the jumpsuit is obviously the most favourite because that's the iconic picture that everyone has in their mind of, of, of Elvis in Vegas jumpsuit and, and the big belt and the whole thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have to say, when I think of Elvis, I do think of the white jumpsuit. Um, mm. So I'm not going to lie. I mean, I've seen loads of pictures of Austin Butler, obviously, who plays Elvis. Do you, do you, do you look at him and think, yeah, he's, he's got Elvis right there? I have to admit, he, he looks so incredibly good that uh, you, you can't... You, no one could say that he doesn't look like Elvis. I mean, uh, I'm not sure what he looks like without the Elvis gear on, but uh, Hollywood has certainly done a marvellous job of making him look very, very Elvisy. And he looks, I mean, as a young Elvis, he looks phenomenal. Yeah. He really does. So, yes, the, the guy is absolutely amazing. 
Yeah. And um, I've got to ask, do you have a favourite Elvis song that you absolutely love performing? When you get, when people request that, are you like, yes? There is one song which which is one of my favourites, um, and it's the Wonder of You, and I always get a thrill out of singing it. I mean, it's it's just a lovely, beautiful song. It's got a guitar solo towards the end of it, and mm. it's uh, you got people waving their arms and going whoa, 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 whoa. It's just wonderful, and that is my probably all time favourite. But then I've also got favourites if, if if I just discover a song that I've never heard Elvis uh, do before, because after all, he recorded seven hundred and forty nine songs, and I don't know all of them. Um, but if I hear one, I think, oh, that's a really nice song, and I'll learn it. That becomes my kind of second favourite, if you like. So I've always got my my all time favourite, the one review, but then there's also another favourite that I'm learning because I enjoy listening to it so much. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? It's been it's been lovely to chat to you tonight. I feel like I should only call you Elvis, but of course you are Martin in, in real life. Yeah. <laughs> so Martin, thank you so much for coming on. Um it's where, a pleasure. where obviously you were with Steph on Steph's Pack Lunch earlier, so I know I that was, you, you do um lots of stuff on the telly. Where where are we gonna see you next? Uh, I'm always at a local curry house or Chinese restaurant uh, oh, yeah. around Hearts, Beds and Bucks. Yeah, so watch out for posters. Yeah. Uh, people can email me and I'll add them to my to my email list, uh, which is elvis at Yeah. Um, but also, I'm always doing the TV work here and there. Uh, I do a lot of private parties. I do weddings because I'm a qualified uh, wedding celebrant and I'm an Elvis, so I marry people as Elvis as well. Do you? Um, I didn't know yeah. that. Gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if things yeah. go terribly wrong between me and my husband, hopefully they won't. But if I was to get married again, you could marry me as Elvis. I can, I can marry you as Elvis, yes. yes. Oh, I love that. Maybe we, would you do uh, vow later, renewals? Do yes, do I do. do. I do oh. that as well. You see, it's our 20th actually. wedding anniversary this year, so maybe I could persuade there you. There you go. That would be there fun, you go. wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I provide the wedding arch and everything, and we sing the songs and we do the whole ceremony, and it's, it's a great experience. Oh, I love that. That sounds fantastic. Oh, Martin Elvis, can I just say thank you very much? Thank you very much. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Have a lovely evening. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you, Liz. Lovely Cheers. to chat to you. Take care. Wasn't he fab?